Two weeks ago, I spent $6,695 on furniture to flip and turn a profit. And if you've watched my previous episodes, you'll know that we've made a lot of sales and we've been making a lot of money. But today, what's in these boxes takes everything to the next level. Now, I thought I had furniture flipping figured out. I thought I knew what to buy, how much to buy it for, and what exactly I'd sell everything for. But nothing has been easier than selling these boxes right here. And it's got me searching like a freaking furniture flipping addict looking for more of them. So start making some sales, start making some money. If you want some context of what I've bought in the past, make sure you check out this card here, but let's get to the cash. What's up everybody? So this morning we have a very, very big sale about to happen. Inside my storage unit right over here, I have a really big aluminum nine piece patio set. I bought it, I forget now, but I know it was around 200, maybe 275. But at any rate, we have somebody coming right now to buy it, hopefully for 1300. So I'm gonna go ahead, get it pulled out of the unit here, get it set up right here on the ground, make it look really nice. And hopefully we can wrap the sale up because this is gonna be a huge, huge profit. We're talking about a thousand dollar profit if we can wrap the sale up. So let's get it ready and see what happens. Okay, so we got everything pulled out of here. It's looking really nice. The guys at the front gate, let's we'll drive up there, buzz them in, and see if we can get paid. Now in my haste as I was leaving the storage unit, I was so excited about making that sale that I forgot to talk to you guys and tell you what I sold it for. So as a reminder, we had this thing listed for 1300 and these people drove up an hour to pick it up. So I knew I had a little bit of an advantage as far as negotiations. Nobody drives a two hour round trip and wants to leave empty handed. So when he got there and he immediately offered me $800 cash, I thought to myself, hmm, that's not gonna work. I countered back at an even $1,000 at which he then countered at 900. Finally, we settled on 950, which is a lot lower than I wanted to get for it, and frankly, a lot lower than I probably could have got for it. But the bottom line is, I was making a pretty good profit anyway, so I didn't want to get greedy. I'd rather just make a good sale. They'd be happy with it. I'd have my money, and we'd all move on with our lives. So by selling that patio set for 950 and purchasing it for 275, that gives us a profit on the sale of 675 bucks. Mm, you can't really complain. You really can't complain. But let's keep these sales going. I have a ton, a ton of these console sales lined up. I'm actually in complete shock. I'm telling you guys, these have been the most simple item that I've ever sold in my life. They're all still new in the box. I just put them in my car, and when people show up in my house, I walk outside, exchange the item for the cash, and it's like a, it's like an easy hundred bucks every time. So, got a lot of those lined up, and I can't wait to show you what we do. Let's go. All right, everybody, so I'm heading to work right now, but I need to stop by my storage unit real quick to grab some of these entertainment centers because tonight when I get off work and I get home, I have somebody who's going to buy mm, three of them for 400. So that's a pretty good deal. I think it's like $133.33 repeating uh, per item. So this is a really, really good one. So we're gonna head on over to the storage unit now, pick those up, go to work, and then make the sale. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six more, well, seven more. Alright guys, so we're getting ready to sell yet another entertainment center. These things have quickly become one of my favorite items because they're so easy to sell. All I have to do is pull them out of the back of my car, set them up right there against the arch, and make the sale when they get here. So we got the box in place, the people are going to be here in a few minutes, and of course, we'll just do the sale and collect our cash. I'll see you in a minute. Whoa. 
slight change of plans. So the people that are coming to buy this box told me they're actually gonna be an hour behind, but the good news is that gives me a little time to work with because I got another message from somebody that said they wanna come tonight and get another one of those. So I gotta run to my storage unit real fast and just do this times two. So let's get another box put in here and make two sales tonight instead of one. Oh my God, as soon as I pulled out of this place, I realized I did a mistake. I uh, am selling a black one, not the white one. I have so many, I have four of these things, so I keep forgetting which one is which, but I'm selling one of the black mid-century pieces, not the white one. So I'm pulling back in now to rectify this error, and then I will be selling one white one and one black one. All right, let's get the right thing this time. Uh, which one is it? It is the, okay, this one is the Noah. That's the white one, so I need a Noah. Miles, nope. Miles, nope. Noah, I need the this right here. Bye stuff. See you soon. I mean, sell you soon. <laughs> Okay, I just want to say I made it home. I've got the boxes loaded, one right here, one over there, and when they get here, we're gonna make the sales. See you then. Hey guys, so I'm traveling today, but I wanted to give a little context in this video. I was watching it back, and for anyone who's never seen my channel before, you might be wondering what exactly is in these boxes. So I went to an auction not too long ago, and I bought 65 of these things. There's four different styles, and I've primarily been selling this white mid-century piece. That's what all these sales have pretty much been. I don't normally buy items that are new in the box. They're kind of hard to sell. People can't really see what's inside of them. You have to set them up so people can see, and I don't want to do that if it's just like one or two items. But if I can buy 65 of them, or 25 of them, or 20 of them, it makes setting up one for a picture really worth it because then you can sell the other 19 or however many right out of the box and people know exactly what they're getting. So for me, this has been like the easiest sell ever. It's almost been like having an ATM at the front of my house. I just go give them a box and I collect my money. So with that said, let's make some more sales and we'll talk about the cash we made this episode. Another console. Another one. All right, guys, so like I said, we had a lot of sales this episode. Almost all of them were the consoles, but we did sell that patio table set as well. We had a total sales of 2,100, which came from the patio set, seven of those white consoles, and then one of the black consoles. Our total cost of goods for all the items were $691, which leaves us a profit of 1,409. So when you take that profit and add to the channel net worth, it gives us a new channel net worth of 31,962. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.